I get this email often. What happens if I'm falling in love faster than the other person? What do I do? If this is you, stay tuned and listen to this perspective. My name is Cyrus Asar, and my mission is to embody the emotion of overcoming. I believe we all fight battles we hide from the world. My objective is to help you win those battles through perspective. Stay tuned. I get this email often. What happens if I'm falling in love faster than the other person? What do I do? This is a large one to unpack. Because it's different things for different people. But one thing remain constant is how you can control yourself. So let me tell you this. Are you one of those people that link up with somebody? You hook up with them this weekend. You decide I want to marry them next weekend. I've met a lot of people that felt that way. Oh, I just knew I wanted to marry her. When? After the first date, man, she just did this, 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 this. Same thing with women and men. I just knew this was my husband. Why? Because of the way this, 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 this. I'm like, you, both situations, you never really got a chance to even know the person. So you already switched on to something that you're forcing on to them. You're saying, I see you as my long-term mate starting now and your behavior start to act that way. And you can get mad that they don't reflect that same behavior back. But some people go through different things so they move at different paces. What I mean by that, some people grew up with trauma, child abandonment issues. Some people grew up with a lot of things. So they like to make sure that you're the one before they do commit. Some people it may take six months of dating. Some people it may take three. Some people it may take a night. Some people it may take a year. Everybody different. But you have to be willing to understand what you're willing to deal with. Are you one of those people that want to see the commitment after a period of time? I need two months of dating you. Then I need to know, are we together or else I'm moving on? If you are one of those people, then you can communicate that. If it feels good and it feels right for you, then keep the communication open. Because once every time you talk to somebody more and more, have real conversations. And as you get the chance to have real, real, real conversations time and time and time again, you really get a chance to know that person. Because I've seen the same thing happen on, let me say this, I've seen people imagine that this person was their husband or wife and they run into a scenario where they were like, oh my God. Or you have a conversation and you be like, you really think that way? You didn't think that way? You know, you didn't, you thought about marrying them last week until you understand their thought process. You're like, wait a minute. I would never want to have no children with you. That's what I'm saying. Once you give it time, you'll start understanding if that person is really meant for you or not. It takes circumstances that you run into to see how people respond. Like, I remember this one girl telling me that she wanted to marry her boyfriend. Like, you know, I can see myself really being with him. They were dating for, I think, about four months. And one time they went to the club and it was an altercation where she had an altercation with a woman. And... That woman's boyfriend stepped up and was yelling at her like, man, stay away from my girl, blah, blah, blah. And she said her boyfriend just fell back and didn't do nothing. She said she felt so abandoned. And I'm like, it took that scenario to understand what he would have done under pressure. And obviously they're not together now, but look at that. Every time you deal with somebody, you get more and more scenarios to understand who they truly are. So... You have to look at the pace of what you say that you're falling in love with this person and why. What is the basis of this quote unquote love? Is it puppy love? Is it because it's your first boyfriend, first kiss, first whatever? Is it because they're willing to talk to you about something that other people aren't willing to talk to you about? Is it because they're a good listener? What is it that just making you, I just want to love, I just want to be with this person now. I want to marry, I want them to commit, I want them to be with me as much as I want to be with them. You have to really evaluate yourself on that level. And it's challenging because it take you to be real with yourself. And you can ask yourself, is what I'm asking too demanding? And be real. 
because it may be, it may not be, but it takes all these different things that's going on in your mind to understand if it is true. But you have to be honest with yourself. And I know I didn't give no cookie cutter answer, but I just think unloading this type of a question is heavy because there's so many different angles to evaluate. But in the end, if you look at it as straightforward as possible, what can you control? You can control how you want the time to be. You can control this, 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 and you cannot control somebody else. So look at what you're comfortable with and figure out a good pace to coast. If they can't coast at the, the, the time frames that you're comfortable with and be reasonable, if they can't coast at the same pace that you're coasting and you're being reasonable, maybe you need to find somebody else. Unfortunate, but true. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. If you want to get my shirt or a book or anything, you can get it in the description box below. Thank you once again for taking out the time to watch this video.